Oh, hello Graphic Arc family, welcome back to another video. Today I got something to show you. I just got customer not long ago deliver me this PC that has a Z690 Z motherboard in there, Asus one, which apparently allows this new Intel APO application optimization to work on 12th and 13th gen CPUs. If you are like me then and are unlucky being the gigabyte peasant, <laughs> I'm joking, if you are like me, I, that have gigabyte motherboard, on my streaming PC I got gigabyte motherboard and even on my main PC I got gigabyte motherboard, which uh, doesn't have this option right available, even if you install new DTT driver, you will see what I mean, just follow me on this journey and... Uh, I will show you everything what it's all about. We'll test Metro Exodus as well to see if we get any boost. I don't have Formula One, World of Warcraft, some other games that are there on the list, but uh, that's up to you to test it out and let me know down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, then I got some Final Fantasy here back to play. <laughs> Let's go! Before you watch this video, make sure you press the like button, subscribe to my channel, and to share with your friends. Let's go! Okay, so I have here the 13600KF system with ASUS motherboard, so everything seems to be working fine on here. So, as you can see, we have Intel application optimization enabled, this advanced mode apparently it works in all games, so maybe we can try Horizon, uh, but uh, I mean, here we are running AMD GPU, 6700XT, 67 XT, or how do you say it? My English is good, but not with numbers. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I will just let uh, Metro Exodus download because it's here in the list and uh, we'll give it a go. Not much relevant games in this application optimization software except for maybe people play World of Warcraft, World of Tanks, okay, I guess. Six Siege, also a good thing. And uh, yeah, I mean, the rest. I guess, okay, Final Fantasy, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, why is this in here, I mean, <laughs> I'm just joking, good, it's good to see that there are more games, because before it was only 12 games, so, uh, yeah, here we have Advanced Mode, I have it on, maybe I should turn it off when we test, it shows that uh, to unlock and hand support for a broader range of games, keep in mind, performance sound can be differ, of course, because it's, I guess, still beta or whatever, but, uh, yeah, it's good to see that it's working on this computer, 13th and 14th gen Intel with uh, Asus motherboards or MSI motherboards, I think also Azurox motherboards work, should be good to go, but for Gigabyte, us Gigabyte peasants have to wait <laughs> for them to update, I think BIOS, because uh, if we install the latest DTT driver, it still doesn't work, so it must be something with the BIOS instead of the driver. Or maybe just Gigabyte is special and they want to make, uh, I don't know, I, 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 I'm clueless guys. So let me just go quickly there on my PC and show you what I mean that it's not working on my PC. Yep, my PC ain't running in the lark, but we have a Gigabyte Aorus. Yoy, anyways. <laughs> Let me just show you what happens when you have everything installed and uh, still you got the Gigabyte motherboard. I did try 13th gen CPU in my motherboard, still no luck, so uh, I suspect it's Gigabyte's issue, so yeah, okay, anyways, once you run this software, you will be greeted with the failed to connect error, which is a critical component optimization function missing. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, gigabyte, fix your sh... Come on. My motherboard still has bias from 2023, but okay, I mean, the option to enable DTT is there, so I guess it should be working, but maybe something screw up in BIOS, or I'm not sure. Oh, by the way, uh, if you go to the support page uh, and check here chipset, you need this APO driver. But on Gigabyte we are still using the old school one from 2023 of November 17th. But, uh, I mean, if you want to try on your Gigabyte board and you have like Z690 or uh, some other, 
you can just go up here, go to Rockstrix Z690E uh, uh, Gaming Wi-Fi, for example, and go here to Drivers, choose Windows 11, and uh, download the latest 0.42569 IPF driver as well, newer one, here, install it, and then... Uh, you should be good to go, except obviously you need to turn on something in the BIOS. So uh, let me just quickly show you where to find this, at least on Gigabyte and Asus motherboard. Okay, let's go. So when you turn on PC, make sure you spam the delete button, delete or F2. In my case, it's delete. Uh, you know what this does. If you spam it like so, Poof, it should go to BIOS. Yep, yep. We are here, all right. Anyways, in my case, you need. I needed to go here. This is the uh, CPU. Wait, I cannot show it. Doesn't write here. Oh, by the way, Gigabyte has new UI. I'm mean, not sure if it's any better, but uh, you need to go here. Advanced CPU settings. Scroll all the way down till you find Intel R dynamic tuning technology. Make sure you turn on this before installing the latest driver, then you reboot, go to Windows Store, install APO, and uh, should be good to go. Yeah, the wrapping is real, man, much better than uh, this uh, new wannabe rappers. <laughs> uh, joking, joking, my music production really bad. Anyways, you need to turn this on. Apparently, if you also disable this on the newer Intel systems, you get way better temperature with uh, way less usage, so give it a try, maybe? I have my temperature limit to honey. <laughs> boring, boring, but uh, I mean, uh, my 12900K is working just fine, so all good here. Anyways, this is all you need to do to, to, to actually make this uh, software to run. And obviously, if you have Intel Arc enable resizable bar, then you go back, save changes, exit, top. Once you're back in the system, if you just, I don't know, maybe download it from Asus motherboard page, just press install Asus setup or install bot, and it will install the drivers, obviously. Eh? So once that is done, I guess I recommend you to turn, uh, I mean, restart your computer, and that should be it. By the way, guys, uh, you know, here, le let me just show one example. Let's say management engine firmware. It's uh, on my gigabyte motherboard, it's really outdated. But uh, what you can do is, let's say we check here on Asus motherboard. As you can see, the management engine is uh, newer, much newer. They are compatible, so you can install these drivers, uh, chipset drivers, because it's the same motherboard, ne? Z690, Z 6900, or how, how else should I say, 690, yes, my brain just lagged, anyways. Uh, you can install the newer drivers from other motherboard makers, it should work just fine. Just like in this case, Gigabyte didn't have the new DTT driver. So I had to go and grab it here, ne? Yep, yep. Uh, obviously avoid LAN drivers, wireless drivers, those might be different for your motherboard, but the chipset drivers you can install, it's all good. Anyways, let me just show you, let's go there on my customer PC and show you in Asus uh, Z uh, 196900 uh, where it's located, the option. Same thing goes here. Press spam the delete button until you get to the BIOS. Oh, see, it also says F2. You can press F2. You know, Asus, this is mostly the same motherboard BIOS for all the versions. So, uh, as far as I know, guys, uh, as far as I remember, it should be somewhere here. Here? No? Uh, here is the virtualization technology. Oh, now I can't uh, remember exactly where it was. <laughs> Let's just search together, shall we? PCI Express, it's not. Storage, obviously not. Uh, firmware, TPMA, obviously also not. Here we go, guys. 
thermal configuration go to advanced thermal configuration click on uh, intel r dynamic tuning technology configuration put this to enable then go back save changes and let's go oh yeah by the way this customer guys he had uh, this RAM inside forgot to uh, enable XMP but also XMP was giving him some trouble I saw uh, it boot loop and sometimes restart to be us. so yeah god damn it I had to do all core overclocking here in this case plus I needed to change improve some uh, timings as well uh, and now the system is running like crazy Hopefully he'll be happy. I'm sure he will be. I will also show him the APO thing if it works good and uh, should be good to go. By the way, um, I, I'm not sure if this motherboard is the case, but uh, once I change BIOS settings in uh, this ASUS Prime DDR4Z6900, uh, most of the time it boots like so. It's, it stays like so, then uh, it's, it reboots for some reason. I have memory training turned off and everything, but uh, see, now it rebooted. But uh, now once we go, we didn't do any changes, so that's super weird why it does this. But it only happens on this motherboard, and when I turn it on, it uh, usually, I mean, when I save the changes, reboot in BIOS, so when I turn it on, it goes to this first boot loop, then it starts again. But then I disabled memory training because I have all core over, I mean, I have overclocked the timings, manually set everything. I disabled that and uh, yeah, then it works. Uh, just once you go out of BIOS and if you save changes, it bugs. I'm not sure. Oh. See, it, it, now it did it two times for you guys in the video, he say, let's just do it one more time, just to be safe and sorry, you know, but uh, yeah, um, I will download Metro Exodus and uh, let's test this APO out and see if it gives us any performance boost or not, doesn't matter the graphic card, so sorry that no Intel RG GPU in here. Even though I might have uh, A750 somewhere lying around here, but uh, I mean, I will not be opening up this computer. Oh! He says he has enough. Maybe I screwed something. Or maybe the DTT driver needs three reboots. <laughs> Anyways, let me get back to you once I install Metro Exodus and uh, let's go. Yeah, it's booting. Don't worry, guys. I will show you. <laughs> Okay guys, so Intel application optimization is based on CPU, so what, I think the best way to test it is actually put Metro Exodus uh, everything too low, right? And 1080p, I love it. Okay. Wait, wow, it didn't change the quality, oh my god. Go, motion blur, off, physics off, tessellation off. Now, uh, let's put this to low and see what will happen, besides a uh, computer freeze. <laughs> okay, applying changes, this takes some time. I remember changing it, but then I went to check on my computer, I guess I forgot to apply, because I think you have a certain time window when uh, it appears to apply the settings to low. But uh, yeah, come on, Intel CPU process this quickly and uh, let's check what, yeah, like I said guys, you got 30 seconds to approve. Okay, now it's done, approved. Let's see what kind of frames we're getting. 200 frames on 1080p, okay, okay. So uh, I will just walk straight here, you know, and let's check FPS. Seems to be 200, 300, 40. Okay, yeah. Yeah, without aiming, so uh, the next test will be the same. We can also stop here, let's say. 240 FPS. It's not the enhanced edition because it's AMD GPU in here. But I guess the enhanced edition should still work. Ah, okay. It doesn't say it needs to be enhanced edition. Okay, so 
once we look at this building about 290-300 fps okay now uh, I think we need to do we need to shut down the game probably not but uh, we can go here press Metro Exodus aha so it needs to be restarted okay then uh, what we're just going to go here go back to main menu yep I don't know what I can do, Alt F4, that's faster, Hope, hopefully the settings will change now. Let's go back inside the game, come on Mitrix Odus, let's see if this Intel application optimization is even working, I, I would assume it, it needs to be CPU limited case for it to boost higher, but uh, that's why we are here, so we will check it out. I guess World of Warcraft would really be good and Final Fantasy, those MMORPGs are really CPU limited so maybe that we go again, same story, yes by the way guys, if you haven't finished Metro Exodus yet I advise you to play all the series, really good game press it to skip so what kind of frame... Oh. The coil wine is strong in this one, guys. It's whining like crazy. But it's pumping out right now about 170 FPS. So maybe before it was 300. But okay, let's just get down and see. Oh, 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 screeching. It's screeching like crazy, but we picked it, what? 400 FPS? God damn it. Yeah, I mean, not much of a difference when you already have about 240 FPS, right? But okay, we picked at 280 here, so it was way more. Let's just move on and see what we get at the building. Uh, if I remember correctly, we were at about... We will go straight, 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 straight. We blocked here, right? Like so. Oh, guys! We are getting about... Ah, now it depends how I was. Okay. Yeah. You know what I will do? Let's just uh, quick load. Here we go, this is once you drop down from the starting area. This is with the APO on. APO on, 230 FPS. Now this is without APO on. <laughs> so. Low setting seems to be the same. But we are pumping out 230 FPS over here. So, yeah. I don't know, you guys test it out, let me know down in the comments below if you find any improvements. I Like I said, I suspect like Formula 1, maybe uh, Final Fantasy and World of Warcraft should find the most gains in this situation. Or Rainbow Six Siege, I don't have any of those games, so uh, let me know, test it out, let me know. Thanks for watching, make sure you like, subscribe if you like my videos, like my content, and... Uh, See you in the next one. Bye-bye.